welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi welcome all to this Python tutorial by JP Infotech in this video we are going to see about how to download and install Python and use that in Windows 10 operating system let's go straight to the video first open any of your browser and type python you can see a download a link of python.org just click that you can see the url python.org so this is the official website of python where you can download and see the details to download the software just click the downloads menu once if you click this download menu you can see download the latest version of Windows download Python 3.9.0 so this version is the latest version and if you want a specific version also you can download it from here you can see the option of looking for a specific release here you can for example to say if you want a specific version of Python 2.7.16 or any the versions you can just click here and download it or if you want to download the latest version you can just click here and download it in case if you are using some other operating system like Linux or Mac you can just also click these options below that now we'll download the Python latest version for the Windows 10 operating system so I'm just clicking this option now you can see the installation file asking to download you can just click here to download in case if you are very specific to download 64 bit or 32 bit then you can just click this option here when you scroll down you can see the option of files in this you can see the option of executable installer windows 64 for 64 bit in case if you are very specific to download for the 32 bit you can click this option windows x86 executable installer in case if you don't know your system is in 32 bit or 62 bit just go to my computer you can just click this my this PC and select properties where you can see the, the system type 64 bit so this is for those people who doesn't know that belongs to 32 bit or 64 bit where you can use this option now meanwhile the python 3.9.0 has been downloaded which comes around 26.8 mb now just right click it and select run as administrator now i'm allowing this to install click s yes. now here the important step is here you can see the add python 3.92 path this option is unchecked this checkbox is not checked as default so you need to select it and check this checkbox in case if you have not done this then you need to add it manually by going to the environmental variables so better you can select this so it automatically does and no need for the manual operation so now i have checked this option and then clicking install now option now you can see the setup is being installing it takes few seconds to install now you can see the message of setup was successful so in this case 
this message is displayed to you then the setup is installed successfully just you can click this close now go to the command prompt by clicking cmd in the start menu so you here you can see the command prompt is open now just click just type python and and just enter it now you can see python 3.9.0 so once if this option is displayed to you then python is installed successfully now now hereby we can use python command prompt for that just click python in your start menu you can see python 3.964 bit app just click this so you hereby you can use this command prompt instead of the default one let's start with simple programs as a default a universal one we can do with start with print so i will type print hello world so i am type here print hello world and just click enter now you can see the hello world message is being displayed so the python is installed successfully and the result of the program is shown now let us do with an editor instead of a command prompt so just enter exit and exit from the command prompt now go to any location for example i am going to this d location i am creating a new text file i am just entering the same command print hello world now i am saving this as save as i am saving as f i or s t first dot p y now please note that you just change this to all files instead of dot txt so i am repeating that first dot py and change the, the file type and you save it as save now now go to the command prompt go to the location now i am going to the as i saved the file in d drive i have go to this location now type python space the file name f i or s t dot p y now you can see the location is d drive python is the command and first dot p y is the file name now i am entering it now you can see the output as hello world again now we have seen two types of uh usage that is one through command prompt another through the notepad or notepad plus plus or word per any editor you can use in the upcoming videos we can see about using an ide for example to say pycharm how to install it how to work on it and how to run the advanced programs in using that ides Thank you for watching. If you have any queries, you can give a command in the command box. Thank you.